We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for to smash that like button to everyone who watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index. We're going to talk about what's going on in the overall market. And as we could see, it continued to go lower today. And early on this morning at 9.45 a.m., our spy bot sent out a bear indicator. Since that moment forward, put options were going up within the day, three to four X guys. This is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down within every single movement, guys. And you can now gain access to this as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected over with the spy bot. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what's going on in the overall market, 10 year treasury and so forth. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the discord. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump right into it here with the spy and everything going on in the overall S&P 500 index. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave 5 to 10%, 10 to 20% plus, but one of them turned out to be a home run. And that was IMPP. We caught this one in the pre-market, consolidating going into strength on 42 vision jumped up 20 percent plus in the first 10 minutes pulled back got that bull indicator full strength again jumped up 50 percent plus and within the volatility it hit a highest point of 90 percent plus guys now this is not a home run that we caught just today we have been seeing this one since last week and every single day it has given us home run opportunities of 20% plus. This is very rare, doesn't happen all the time. But since we mentioned it till today, it's hit a highest point of 400% plus guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, early on within the week, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY continuing to go lower and I'm going to pull up Ultimate 42 Vision, the board bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets, whether stocks are going up or going down. And here we have it all under a bear indicator, right? Since way up here at the 440 range, things rejected. And it's pulled downwards and we're at 418. Now we have some key points to look at here based off the 30 minute within the volatility. But we also want to look at the bigger picture. So the first thing is we do want to talk about something that's been going on. And it's the VIX, right? The VIX broke through 30. Then it went back and forth. It's rejected 35, 34, came back down to 29, went up to 34, rejected it. Looked like it was going back towards 30. And it has spiked up two times up towards 36 and currently continuing guys so the key thing here is the highest point we've hit in the 52 week range was up here nearly at 39 right 38 96 94 give or take right so if we break through 39 or 40 this could get pretty volatile in the overall markets we're already seeing volatility but the VIX is spiking up pretty fast as we see it, right? And right now it's under a bull indicator based off 42 vision and ultimate 42 vision. And that's another thing as well. It doesn't just work on stocks. It works on anything you're charting, whether it's commodities, indexes, or anything that can be charted, guys. So it definitely gives one an edge to see with clarity where we're at within the volatility and the bigger pictures. Because the 30 minute is showing us one picture, but the four hour has been showing us a bull indicator since way down here at 32 and we're right now on our way towards 36 trying to break through 37 and 38 the 52 week highs guys we need to see this actually inflict downwards so stocks and the overall market can start to cool off in a reversal point right 
super important then we have the 10-year treasury it had a huge huge drop we actually recorded it in our last video live as things were falling then it came back up retested those lows and bounced off of it and right now the overall picture has been to the downside right if you just draw two lines here it's been within this channel back and forth if that continues and we break through 1.66 1.64 1.60 that is going to be a huge concern in shocking the markets because it's moving really fast to the downside and it could also throw off the whole entire picture of how rates are going to be treated and how inflation is going to be handled within these times as treasuries are just going lower and that creates not inflation or deflation but stagflation and that is another type of issue as well where things are kind of indirectly not correlating right so back to the SPY. let's talk about key levels here because we are getting close to the recent lows and it was one of the lowest points that we've seen in a long time and that was down here at 409 and currently we're down here at 418 and things are slightly leveling off we need to see but based off the 30 minute we're under a bear indicator if i pull up the four hour same thing we're under a bear indicator and the last time we went into this type of bearishness on the four hour we had white with red borders back to back several times right one time it only happened once and things reversed pretty quickly but this was all a fake out it continued and we had about seven of these back to back and this is just the first one so could we reverse like this we may but the key thing is if we do have a reversal like this we need to see if a bull indicator pops up okay super important to signify some strength because every single time why with red border pops up there tends to be a reversal some are weaker than others some are stronger than others like these right here right it went from way down here at 420 all the way back up to 458 went right here from 410 all the way back up to 441 you could see the full transitions here on 42 vision and right here as well white with red borders red with green dark green green white with red borders red with green dark green and it did not reach this type of strength but it went towards green before reversing right so this is how we're able to see with 42 vision the dips and the rips and maximize within the opportunities because even though the stock market has been in a downward trend there has been plenty of opportunities every single day we're going to continue to use our spy bot as well to maximize and have an edge within the volatility and we're just going to continue to push forward until things finally find a bottom right everybody wants to know where the bottom is that is probably one of the hardest things to find in a chart we never know there's so many variables but right now we do have key levels to watch we're under bear indicators on all different time frames on the four hour on the one hour on also the one day as you can see it right here and most of all which is the one we've been tracking together here on the channel if it's your first time and you've made it this far into the video you would have known all through this volatility about this bearishness since way up here on the one day right way up here at 470 and also based off of the one week way up here at 458 and you could see the times it tried to come up and it rejected it three times guys those three rejections were key and i've always stated based off the history right of 42 vision i've used the examples here of 2018 and the 2020 crash when this pops up it pops up for several days and weeks at a time and it does not stop until it finally hits extreme weakness right white with red borders based off the history of these two it hit three on this one and two on this one does it signify and guarantee that that's exactly how it's going to play out no but it's definitely something to be aware of and then also within these moves sometimes it may not even hit white with red borders right but the key thing is to be looking for that reversal just like right here of red with green borders going into strength and a bull indicator popping up signifying that strength has started or at least is trying to start right doesn't always guarantee it but once these pop up 
they pop up for weeks at a time to months and the bull indicators pop up for several months to years at a time so that's the key thing i'm looking for right now within this volatility how long this bearishness is going to last and when that bull indicator and strength or reversal will start i'm not trying to call a bottom i'm not trying to look for the bottom because that's not the way to exactly approach this no one knows the bottom no one even knows the actual point of real strength but with proper strategy and maximizing within the volatility daily there's an opportunity and i've also used the one day as an example how we pull back here we did get a bull indicator here that kind of distorted the information as we were watching it but then this bear indicator popped up again and things have continued and i was comparing it way back here to the 2020 crash as well in march because last time we did get a bear indicator things try to come back up this turned out to be a fake out and things continued downwards and it did not find a bottom until march right so that's what i was looking for all this time based off the one day is it actually going to turn out to be a fake out and there it was that bull indicator turned out to be a fake out no real strength kind of sat sideways rejected that 58 area right 458 things pull back down and we've been under a bear indicator since way up here based off 42 vision and ultimate 42 vision 439 440 range and we hit lows here 410 and we're currently on our way back down almost near touching it so let's go ahead and zoom in here based off the 30 minute so we can see this together here the key levels right the first thing i'm going to say is 410 is going to be important but to the upside what do we want to watch to the upside so 410 way down here is our support and to the upside the first resistance level we want to break through is 423 use that support and pull upwards i'm going to be looking for a bull indicator to pop up to negate this bear indicator and then our next resistance level is way back up here at 432 some of the highest points from friday and also here today in the pre-market before the bell as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money